A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul that truth lies within. Today we are here with our 11th of May recording. Supreme Godfather has certain messages for us. How to be lighter in our mind and how to feel much more comfortable within ourselves. So we're going to explore this beautiful blessing. The blessing goes like this. May you make accurate judgments with your carefree stage and become a victorious jewel with faith in your intellect. So God has given us a divine intellect provided we are meditating. God has given us a divine vision provided we are meditating and we are soul conscious. So God says that you can make accurate judgments by being carefree. When we become too much strict with ourselves and we are less carefree, that strictness makes us make mistakes. And we can become carefree when we are totally soul conscious that means I am not indulging or fighting with any kind of negativity within my mind so my mind is clean my intellect is clean there is no jealousy there is no disdain there is no hatred there is no judgment for others or any situation and I am carefree totally I am light in my mind so let's see what does God have to say God says make you may you make accurate judgments with your carefree stage and become a victorious jewel with faith in your intellect. God says, the easy way to become constantly victorious is to have one strength and one support. My one strength is God and my one support is God. That's it and nobody else. When you have faith in one, you receive power. Power from the Supreme Father. Faith constantly makes you carefree. When we have faith in God, in godly knowledge, in godly guidance every single day, in the blessings which He's giving us and we are following it, we have our faith increased because of the experiences which we have after following this knowledge and the experiences are very powerful and very strong and we feel lighter and we feel that yes this is the true path so god says faith constantly makes you carefree and those who have a carefree stage are successful in every task they perform by being carefree your intellect is able to make accurate judgments but when we are not carefree that means we are caring for other people's thoughts. We are caring for what people think about us. And that's the time we have too much of mixture in our intellect, too much of mixture in our thoughts. And we can't become carefree. So low confidence, <coughs> low self-esteem or overly high confidence or maybe what we can call it as ego. Both of them makes our mind dull when we have to make judgments. So the basis of making accurate decisions is to have an intellect with faith and being carefree. Faith in that I am following God's directions. I am removing the ego. I am removing all the vices within me. And I am using self-confidence in terms of soul consciousness. I have self-respect in terms of soul consciousness. And then I am able to follow the Father. You don't even have to think because you just have to follow the Father. Follow Father Brahma and nobody else when we try to follow other people in our life we forget our own path and that's the time we become totally indulgent in negativity in comparison in competition and many more things so god says that place your steps in his steps and move along according to the shrimat you receive shrimat means the highly godly guidance on a daily basis Simply continue to place your steps in the steps of Srimad and you will become a victorious jewel. So here the sample or the example which we have over here is the Supreme Godfather, the Supreme Being. So Godfather wants us to follow his steps and he says my first child is Brahma or Adam. I first create him pure and you can just follow his first steps. We here also have spiritual sisters, elderly dadis or whom we call it as didis also. We can follow them also and only look at the best in them if they do anything wrong forget about it don't follow that follow the father so god says let me help you let me help you take the knowledge let me help you follow the knowledge let me help you become somebody who's equal to me but for that you'll have to follow the supreme father and his creations who are the purest ones how do we do that who are the purest creations of his for that you'll have to come and learn and to have a journey in brahma Kumaris. With this, I'm sure.